hold up. Who the hell races like this? You'd be crazy to use this tiny laptop screen. I just did it for a clickbait thumbnail and to hook you on the intro. Do you feel baited? Are you hooked? Hello, it's Joe and welcome back to another tested video. Today we have the Lenovo Legion 5i Gen 6 Pro Plus Ultra. Wait, that's not right. It's just Pro. No, that's not right either. It's just Gen 6. As usual, if you want to jump to a particular section, timestamps will be provided below. Let's set up the racing rig where it should be, in front of a big screen. I'll be using my 4K TV for the test. Yes, I know the refresh rate is low and there's ghosting and it has latency and blah blah blah, who cares. Today we're testing the laptop, not my cheap, I mean low budget TV. Because the specs of this laptop are so beefy, I'll be trying it on the Oculus MetaQuest 2 as well. To see if it will deliver high enough frame rates for me to take a corner without reintroducing myself to this morning's breakfast. If you're interested to see how I paint out my super comfortable to wear for hours quest 2, leave a comment and maybe I'll do a dedicated video one day. Speaking of specs, we have an Intel i7 11800H, 32GB of DDR4 3200MHz RAM, running in dual channel mode of course, and the star of the show, a NVIDIA RTX 3070 with 8GB of glorious GDDR6 VRAM. By the way, if you want to experience the feeling of entering its box, or lifting off the covers to caress its insides, I did an unboxing and teardown video a while back. Link will be in the description below. What were you perverts thinking? For racing on the screen, my target frame rate for each game will be 90 FPS, so we're gonna see what the highest setting I can use while maintaining these frame rates.
mobile RTX 3070 performs great at flat screen gaming, as it should. It is a $1500 laptop after all, getting 120 FPS at 1440p in most titles, except for ACC and Dirt 5, which it gets a solid 90 FPS. However, it wasn't so positive with VR Racing, iRacing and EMS 2 were the only two titles that were really playable, and it was at the limit. If you added Rain or Night Racing, I suspect it wouldn't do so well. ACC and Race Room were an unplayable mess, as my stomach was doing flip-flops seconds into testing them. Unfortunately, high-end VR gaming really needs a beefy desktop PC that isn't limited by the power constraints of being mobile. This has been another tested video. Remember, hit the subscribe button red, turn it black, and give the like button some slap. As always, thanks for watching. You know that I'm at your center, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. No, no, it won't let her, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. You can say you can do better, yeah. I know that I